Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zumebin Leah. If this is your first time stumbling on my channel, you're welcome. Be sure to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed to me, I just want to use this opportunity to wish you all compliments of the season, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Yeah, so this is the season. This is actually my favorite holiday in the entire year. And I created this look specifically for Christmas, you know. It's the time to have fun, hang out with family, basically let your hair down and all that. And you want to look good while doing it, right? So this is the look I came up with and I have two different lipstick options for this look. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Without further ado, let's just get right into the tutorial. So to begin, I've already done one um, one of my eye makeup and I'm just going to be doing the second one for you guys on camera and I've already done my brow. So to begin with, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 02 to prime my eyelid. Then I'm going into this Miss Rose eyeshadow palette and taking that um, flesh tone color to just use it to set my concealer in preparation for my eyeshadow. Then I'm going in with that dark orange, kind of like... It's a shade between orange and red and I'm using that just right above my crease for my transition and I'm going to be using my Karite gel liner right now to cut my crease. Now I'm smoking it out a little using my small blending brush and a black matte shadow. So I will just be blending it further using that first transition, using that first blending brush and blending the orange and the black together. So now I'm going to be cutting my crease using my e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer and I'm, I will just cut the crease right now and also use it to prime the eyelid in preparation for the shadow. So going into my Sleek Sunset Based eyeshadow, Sunset Mineral Based Eyeshadow Palette. I'm just going to be taking that copper shade right there and applying it on my mobile lid. Then, with a smaller brush, I will just go into that gold shade and use it to highlight the inner corner of my eye. So, I'll be taking this red shade from my matte palette again to further deepen the copper color i want it to have more of an intense red than you know that dull copper color so now i'm going to be take going with going in with red glitters and my bernai glitter glue to give the eye some sparkle Now for my brow bone, I'll just be highlighting my brow bone using that same gold shade that I applied in the inner corner of my eyes. So now I'm just lining my eyes. There's no need for a wing because of that intense black that's already there. So I'll just line the eye. And now I'm applying my falsies. Now lining my inner waterline with, also with that black gel liner and smoking it out with a matte shadow to keep it in place. Now I'm going to be using my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir as a moisturizer. I'm just going to be applying this all over my face. This is the first impression of this product. I just got it in my last haul video and um, well for what I can say it actually really moisturized me. It still gave me a kind of dewy look at the end of the day. My skin was glowing from within. It didn't let my makeup get too powdery. My skin was well moisturized. And I think it will be very nice for even people with oily skin. I have normal skin though, so but for people with oily skin, I think it just moisturizes your skin without leaving it too oily. It just gives the right amount of moisture. So now I'm using my number seven primer to prime my face in preparation for my foundation. Now, this, looking at my face now after the primer, I will still show you that it doesn't look all dried up the way it might have looked if I had, if I hadn't moisturized with the Faseli before. So now I'm going in with my MAC foundation in the shade NW50 and applying that with a beauty blender all over my face. Mm -hmm. 
so using my elf complete coverage concealer i'm just going to be highlighting under my eyes the bridge of my nose my chin and my forehead Now this is another first impression. I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and yeah, it has kind of like a slightly yellowish tint which I think is perfect for dark skin and it's very very light. So I'm applying, I'm using this to set my concealer in the areas where I highlighted. You can see it looks yellowish which I think complement dark skin tones since a lot of us are warm uh, we have warm undertones in the first place so now while my face is baking I'm going to be going in with my Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in heartbreaker and now I'm going to be lining it to give you an, a kind of ombre effect with something darker and this something darker in quotes is the NARS liquid lip stain in Chihuahua So now I'm just cleaning up the excesses. And now back to the face. I'm going to be using the Milani Face Powder in the shade Warm to dust off the setting powder. Now I'm using a lighter powder as opposed to my shade because I didn't want to... This was the first impressions video and I didn't want to use a dark powder that was probably going to remove all the highlights because I didn't know how Laura Mercier works on me and looking at it right now as compared to the Bernay which I used to use before the Laura Mercier did not change you know did not give me a whitish look which I noticed used to happen to me if I bake using my Bernay in this case I don't look whitish I don't look ghostly I don't look grayish I look I still have that yellowish tint that initial uh, that eventually is going to still blend down by the time i'm done with the entire makeup so now i'm using my glams powder in chocolate 212 to apply all over the rest of my face apart from the areas where i highlighted i applied a little on those areas to also remove uh, some of the setting powder the remnant of the setting powder that was there and now for my contour i'm using the maybelline clear smoke powder in cacao to just contour the perimeters of my face and now I'm applying my blush so I'm going to be setting my face using the MAC prep and prime setting spray to remove that powdery look so the final step now is me um, highlighting my face using my classic contour kit I really love this highlight because it just gives this very nice golden tint that is perfect for my skin tone and it's really pigmented it's very buildable too and I find that it pops more if you apply it after you have applied your setting spray so now the makeup is done and I'm going to be um, attending to my hair right now I'm straightening my hair So now that the hair is straightened, I'm just spraying it to give it some sheen and this is the finished look. So this is the first look. The second look just involved me changing the lip shade just in case this lip is a bit, little too bold for the eyes. You know, if you want the drama to just be on the eyes only and you, lip, you want the lips to be a little more subtle, you could try the second lip option. So for that, I'm just lining my lips using my Davis pencil in the shade 018. And then I'm going in with this um, nude lipstick from Classic Makeup. 
and I'm just applying it all over the lips and this is the finished look so this is the second option that also goes with the eye look I don't I can't decide which one I like best you guys let me know which you like best the red lipstick or the nude which one do you think goes best with this eye makeup look which would you rather rock thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video Merry Christmas